Hey guys, Ken Tamplin from Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy. I'm back here at uh, Costa Mesa Studios with my buddy Nick Feinbarg, and uh, we're actually going to do part two of how to sing like Bruce Dickinson, Run to the Hills. Uh, part one was to show you how to connect chest with head lightly so you can build up the stamina uh, to sing like Bruce, and now we're going to actually do a demonstration of how Bruce connects the sound uh, from his chest to his head seamlessly so it's like one long note, especially in the upper register on the chorus, and it goes like this. Like I said, you see a true connection of how you can build up your chest register through the passaggio, the, the mid-voice break, into the head register and, and have a balance or a mixed voice between the two, even when you sing the bottom heavy. If you notice, I released the sound and I didn't drag all that weight up with me. Instead, I released that weight as I went up. The farther up I went, I made my connection and then I went right up into the head voice. And at the end, I started out a nice, big, fat, beefy chest register, connected through the passaggio, gave you that nice, cool scream that was almost entirely head voice uh, to get you to understand how you build. So. Part one was learning first to build the voice. Don't go straight to wham. I mean, if you do that, you won't be able to connect the passaggio. It's sort of like you got your quad and your, your calf and you have your knee. And if your knee isn't strong enough to sustain the kick of the quad and the calf, you're never going to build up the, the strength and the mechanism to connect that chest and head register. So thanks again for joining me, Ken Temple Vocal Academy, and we've got more on your way.